Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I'm going to do another cloud pour this evening, and I'm going to do a, a different color palette. Um, I'm trying, well, I'm not trying to get away from my blues and turquoise. I love them, but I just want to try something different. This is my test tile. I always try to test my tile, my, um, especially when I'm working with a new palette, test it out on a tile. And actually, the tiles usually come out a lot better than the actual painting probably because it's on a small scale. So I have, this is um, uh, Amsterdam Naples Yellow Red Light. This is Golden Conacredo Nicolaso Gold mixed with a little bit of the Modern Masters Pharaoh's Gold, which is a semi-opaque. I also have, this is uh, Pebio Iridescent green, um, oh, green. See, I'm so used to saying green. Um, this is Pebio iridescent, uh, red blue. Now this is not, uh, I've had issues with these paints selling. So I added a little bit of the, um, modern masters in champagne and that's an opaque color to see if it'll work better. Oh, I just hit my tile. This is Permanent Violet Red by Amsterdam. And once again, this is a transparent color. So to that, I added um, Amsterdam Expert Series in Permanent, Permanent Red Violet Opaque. Permanent Red Violet Opaque. This is Permanent Red Violet. So I guess I could, they're a little bit different in color, so I wanted to make sure I got some opaque in there. This is my, oh, I love this color. It just sells so well. Um, this is the Golden's Green Gold. And last but not least, I have Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And again, this one was semi-opaque. So I added some Liquitex Dax is in purple because that is an opaque color too. I find opaques work best with this um, type of pour. So here we go with the um, Deco Art Satin Enamel Mix. Okay, I'm going to try and do it this way this time, a different orientation. I mean, you can always change the orientation no matter, you know, how you do your, your your pores. Everything's relative. Speaking of relatives, I hope you all are able to get together with your relatives for the 4th of July weekend. Um, I'm Canadian, but I'm still going to celebrate 4th of July with my friends here in, in Florida. Um, Canada border is still closed. I think it's supposed to open soon, but I really need to go see my aunt. She's been ill. So, and yeah, we're covered on all sides. I want to make sure we've got enough paint off and then I'm going to give it a quick torch. God, I hope I'm videotaping. Yeah, I think I am. All right. I just got a donation today. Two shelving units. <laughs> Was busy organizing today. Okay, I'm not going to put too much paint on. Oops, a little bit more than that. There we go. Putting the gold right over top of that. Putting the red right over top of that. I might put a little bit more of this red because it really, and the quinacridone nicolas of gold. It looked really nice together. And, and on this side, put the dark. Oh, wow, it's really reacting. This is getting swallowed right up. Whoa, over. Give me a chance to tilt first, please. And so here we go. That Nicolay's of gold mixed with the um, the 
iridescent red blue. Beautiful. Well, there's some cells happening. That's good. Maybe I'll have some negative space for a change, eh? I kind of like not using as much paint. But I do want to get some cells, and that usually involves taking stuff over corners. Oh man, this is pretty. Stretch it this way. And then stretch it back to try and get the the wonk on <laughs> trying to get the wonk out of my wonked up cells here. Oh, I'm liking these colors. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like they're they're starting to sell. See, that's the um, putting the opaque colors in. I think. So I'll put the recipe for my um, my cloud mix in the description. Wow, these look like worms, though. We'll see what happens. I'm sure it's got some time to develop. This is so cool. I might even put a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's getting swallowed up, but then I really like that color there. I think we should put it down here. Oh, Michelle, make up your mind. No, just leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> it completely ate up that purple. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to push it down. All right, stop messing with it. That is kind of cool looking though, I gotta admit. All right guys, I didn't get, make it over the corner here so I don't have any idea if that's gonna sell up or not, which is kind of nice if it didn't really. As a matter of fact, oh, here I go. go. You can always add and subtract. There are no rules. Seems to be a lot of paint on there still too. So we're just going to keep going for it. See if we can get some more cells out of, out of that uh, stuff I just put down. All right, now I'm leaving it. Yep, I'm leaving it. Hmm. And you know I'm going to fiddle. I'm a fiddler. Yep, see there's some cells coming up. Whoa! I made it work. Yay! I'm probably going to do some enhancements through here. Something. Something, something. All right. I'm going to put you on time lapse. I'll be back.
Hey guys. Um, wow. I like the colors. Um, some of this, these cells got all, all wonky, but I kind of worked with it. And what I did at one point was I mixed up the um, red blue iridescent red blue with the quinacridone nickel azo gold to make like a peachy color and I kind of brought that through on in certain areas and then I blew on it to pull up this color and the cells came and I'm like oh and look at the gold I, I did put some gold in too um yeah I'm liking this a lot. I like blowing on parts of it with my mouth just to give it some dimension and some interest and uh, yeah like right there I did that too that was the first one but the cells oh goodness so the dioxazine purple in that permanent blue violet or rather blue blue violet I think it is um, I probably didn't need to put the um, dioxazine purple in because it really reacted well. And I think I see a bug coming around. So I'm going to shut off the light soon. Um, please be safe and create. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, ciao for now. Thanks for being here.